Now, let's check out Mixer Mode in more detail. In Mixer Mode, Panorama's display shows eight channels at the same time. The selected channel is shown inverted on the display. Folder, automation, or instrument tracks that route to a MIDI output are now displayed in this mode, but only tracks that have an associated mixer channel. The eight faders control your mixer in banks of eight channels. Select the channel by using the track plus or minus buttons, or hold shift and select the channel by clicking on the button underneath each fader. The button LED will indicate the selected channel. Press any of the eight buttons to mute a channel or solo by holding Fader 9's button while pressing the track button. Fader 9 always controls the currently selected track or channel. But if you hold the button underneath it while moving the fader, it controls Studio One's master level. Our soft takeover function ensures that levels won't jump to the fader position when you touch a fader. Ride a fader up or down until you catch the track's current level. Panorama's display shows you the direction. There we go. I've picked it up. To deactivate soft takeover, hold shift and press the fader 9 button. With soft takeover off, the channel level will instantly jump to the fader's current position once you move it. The encoder section is assigned to pan or sin levels. You switch their assignment with the pan or sin soft display buttons. The macro soft button gives you access to Studio One's eight macro parameters and assigns the encoders accordingly. Right enables channel automation. Clicking on Setup toggles the display button to reveal the E1 Auto feature. This feature allows you to control any parameter from Panorama's E1 encoder. Simply activate E1 Auto, roll the mouse over any console parameter, and take control. If you have to click to take control, change Studio One recent parameter settings to mouse over. To move to the next bank of eight channels, hold shift and press the track plus or minus button.